Hi kids, today I'm going to read the book Titanic by National Geographic Kids. Table of Contents, Shipwreck and Sunken Treasure, The Wonder Ship, 10 Cool Things About Titanic, Building Titanic, Bon Voyage, Strategy at Sea, The Final Hours, They Survived, 10 Real Reasons for the Titanic Strategy, Search and Discovery, Titanic Treasures, Glossary and Index, Shipwrecks and Sunken Treasure, Ever Dreamed of Exploring the Ocean for a Shipwreck? Imagine how exciting it would be to discover a hidden treasure. Think that kind of thing only happens in the movies. Think again. In 1985, Robert Ballard led a team that discovered a sunken ship called RMS Titanic. Other people have found shipwrecks, but Titanic is special. It's one of the most famous ship of all time. The whole world was excited about Baller's discovery. Robert Baller and his crew celebrate on board their research ship, the Nor, after they first spotted wrecked from Titanic in 1985. In his own words, My team has been watching the ocean floor with an underwater camera for days, and all we'd seen was mud. Late one evening, our camera suddenly passed over ship's Boiler, and at that moment, we knew we'd found it. The Wonder Ship What made Titanic so special? In 1912, it was the biggest ship ever built. That's why some people call it the Wonder Ship. It had first-class bedrooms, ship's gym, first-class cafe. Other people call it a floating plot palace. Titanic had every possible luxury, fine wood paneling, crystal and gold light fix fixtures, and a grand staircase with a skylight above it. First class passengers ate fancy meals and enjoyed the ship's gym and swimming pool. Titanic terms luxury, something that offers pleasure or comfort, but isn't necessary, often difficult or expensive to get. Titanic had nine decks or levels with a separate areas for first class, second class, and third class passengers. Titanic terms bow. Bow, the front end of a ship, cern, the pack end of a ship, hull, the lowest part of a ship partly covered with water. In her own words, my pretty little cabin with electric heater and paint curtains delighted me. It's beautiful lace quilt and pink cushions and photographs all around. It looks so homey. This was said by first class passenger Lady Duff Gordon. Look at everything that this ship had. A pool, a bridge, a bow, boiler room, first class dining room, gym, wireless room, third class cabin, hull, stern, 10 Cool Things About Titanic 1. Titanic was almost as long as three football fields. 2. Including the four smoker, smokestacks, its ship was as tall as a 17-story building. 3. Titanic's engines used more than 800 tons of coal each day. The ship's top speed was 24 knots. 4. Titanic was one of the mo of the first ships to have a telephone system and electric lights in all the rooms. 5. The ship had four elevators, a heated swimming pool, a gym, two libraries, and two barber shops. 6. Each day the passengers and crew used 14,000 gallons of drinking water. 7. Smoke and steam made Titanic's boiler escape through three stacks. Builders added a fourth stack because they thought it made the ship look better. 8. Titanic could carry 3,547 passengers and crew. About 2,200 people traveled on its first voyage. 9. Some passengers paid about 1990000 in today's money to travel aboard Titanic. 
to feed the passengers and crew, Titanic had 86,000 pounds of meat, 40,000 eggs, 40 tons of potatoes, 7,000 heads of lettuce, 3,500 pounds of onions, 36,000 apples, and 1,000 loaves of bread on board. Building Titanic Titanic's tragic story began in 1907. That's when J. Bruce Lismay of the British shipping company White Star Line and William J. Peary of Harland and Wolf Shipyards decided to build a three huge ships. One of those ships was Titanic. In 1909, Thomas Andrews began work on Titanic in Belfast, Ireland. The ship was finished on March 31, 1912. In early April, Titanic arrived in Southampton, England. Then a 900-person crew took a week to prepare for the ship's first voyage. Titanic being built in Ireland, 1910. Tragic, sad, dreadful, disastrous. Bon voyage! When Titanic left England on April 10, 1912, it had an impressive list of passengers. Y.S. Stars Line Chairman J. Bruce Ismay and Titanic builder Thomas Andrews were on board. So were some of the richest people in the world. The ship also carried many med middle class passengers and poor, poor immigrants who hoped for a better life in America. Immigrants, people who leave one country to settle in another country. For the first few days of the trip, passengers felt like they were on vacation. They spent their time strolling around the deck, playing cards, and enjoying the ship's fine food and other luxuries. But all of that changed on Sunday, April 14th of 1912. That's when the Titanic entered an area of the North Atlantic Ocean known as Iceberg Alley. Iceberg a large mass of ice floating on the sea. Weird but true, most of an iceberg's bulk is located below the ocean surface. That makes it really hard for sailors to know how big the icy chunk really is. Tragedy, tragedy at sea. As Titanic cruised across the wavy water at top speed, it received nine ice warnings from other ships. But wireless operator Jack Phillips and Harold Bridge were busy sending and receiving messages from passengers. They didn't deliver all the warnings to the bridge. Bridge, a ship's control center, Titanic was steered and navigated from its bridge. Wireless, an early form of radio that relayed messages through coded series of beeps. Captain Edward J. Smith seemed to ignore the messages he did receive during the day. Before dinner, he finally changed the ship's course to the south, but he didn't slow down. Captain Smith had a long successful career at sea. Commanding Titanic was supposed to be his last assignment before retiring, but he went down with the ship. After sunset, stars shone brightly in the moon's less sky. The air was bitterly cold and the water was glassy smooth. Just before midnight, Frederick Fleet, one of the ship's lookouts, spotted a large dark object in the water. He rang the alarm bell three times and shouted, Iceberg right ahead! First Officer William Murdoch re reacted quickly. He ordered the crew to reverse the engines and turn the boat left, away from the iceberg. Then he pulled the switch to close the bulkheads, but it was too late. Bulkheads, walls meant to slow or prevent flooding by separating Titanic's hull into 16 separate compartments. Weird but true, many people believe Titanic was unsinkable, but the builders never made that claim. Most of the passengers were asleep. They didn't even feel the iceberg scrape the side of the ship. But the damage was done. Captain Smith and Thomas Andrews rushed below decks. 
When Andrew saw how much sea water was rushing into the ship, he estimated Titanic would sink in less than two hours. Doomed. Within ten minutes of the collision, Titanic's five front compartments were flooded to a depth of fourteen feet. Titanic's hull had sixteen compartments. The ship could float if only the front four compartments were flooded. But with five damaged compartments, Titanic was doomed. Weird but true. If Titanic had hit the iceberg straight on, it might not have sunk. And even it, if if it had at sunk, there would have been time for other ships to rescue the people on board. Illustrations showing how Titanic's compartment flooded. <gasps> Look how how much water went inside. Captain Smith knew that Titanic had enough lifeboats for one thousand one hundred and seventy-eight people. Only about half the number of passengers and crew on board. Many people would would die if a rescue ship didn't arrive in time. He rushed to the ship's wireless room and ordered Phillips and Bridge to send out a distress call. The first ship to respond was the Carpathia, but it was fifty-eight miles away. It would need four hours to reach the Shinkin ship. Titanic's crew. Fire rockets to get the attention of a ship they could see about ten miles away, but it never answered. Weird but true. The original plans for Titanic included sixty-four lifeboats, but the builders put in only twenty, so first-class passengers would have more room to stroll around on deck. Oh no! The final hours. The lifeboats were ready by twelve twenty-five a.m., but many people didn't want to board them. Climbing onto the boats was scary. Many passengers couldn't believe that one their ship would soon be gone. The crew worried that they wouldn't have time to lower all lifeboats, so some boats went down less than half full. In her own words. We have been living together for many years, and where you go, I go. We started together, and if, if need need be, we'll finish together. Ida Strauss overheard speaking to her husband when she decided to die with him rather than board a lifeboat. Trapped. First-class passengers had the best chance of getting seats in lifeboats because their rooms were on the upper decks. They could get on the lifeboats more quickly and easily. Many third-class passengers were trapped below the decks. When the lifeboat launched, more than one thousand five hundred people were stranded on the ship, sinking ship. As Titanic's stern tilted upward, hundreds of victims fell into the icy water. Others held on until the ship slipped below the waves. People in lifeboats were haunted by the victims' desperate screams for help. Then the sound slowly faded. The light suddenly went out. Slowly, the stern reared itself up. Then, with an ever quickening glide. The slid beneath the water of the cold Atlantic, <sighs> freezing waters. After Titanic sank, hundreds of people struggled to survive. That night, the ocean was twenty-eight Fahrenheit, a temperature that can cause death in just fifteen minutes. It was freezing cold. They survived. Some people did. Many people in lifeboats were wearing their pajamas. After spending hours in the freezing cold, the Carpathia was a welcome sight. Carpathia's crew had plenty of clothes, blankets, and warm food ready for the survivors. They quickly helped the freezing people out of the light little lifeboats. But 9 a.m. on Monday, April 15th, Carpathia was headed for New York with 705 survivors. Never again. After the Titanic tragedy, tragedy, all ships had to have enough lifeboats for everyone on board. A new international ice patrol began tracking icebergs and warning nearby ships. And here are some of the survivors. A real hero, heroine. 
One of the Titanic's most famous survivors was first-class passenger Margaret Brown. She earned the name Unsinkable Molly Brown for helping people board lifeboats and insisting that her lifeboat try to rescue people in the water. She may have also taken a turn rowing her lifeboat toward Carpathia. A careful observer, first-class passenger Jack Thower was 17 years old, too old to be allowed on a lifeboat. He jumped into the water as Titanic sank and scrambled onto an overturned lifeboat. In 1940, Thayer wrote a vivid description of his Titanic experience. Robert Ballard used some of the Thayer's details to find the sunken ship. A hard worker. Wireless operator Harold Bridge stayed at his post until the last second. After jumping off the sinking ship, he managed to climb onto the same overturned lifeboat as Jack Tharn. Even though his feet were bat badly frostbitten, he later helped the Carpathia wireless operators send out survivor lists and personal messages. The final survivor, third-class passenger Melvina Dean, was the youngest person aboard Titanic. The tiny, three-month-old... Her two-year-old brother and her mom were loaded into a lifeboat, but her father went down with the ship. Melvinia was last remaining Titanic survivor, and she died in, in 2009. And these are all the people who died. Most of the people who died were the crew, people who worked there. News of the disaster spread quickly. No one could believe it. The ship people said was unsinkable had vanished below the waves and more than 1,500 passengers and crew had suffered a terrible death. The Titanic's tragedy, tragic ending made the wonder ship even more famous. Over the years, dozens of books, films, songs, and musicals have retold the shocking story. Even though the ship is long gone, our fascination with it lives on lives on. This is part of a movie that's called the Titanic. In 1997, the film Titanic is the most successful movie of all time. In two years, it earned nearly two billion and won 11 Oscars, including Best Picture and Best Director. Ten Real Reasons for the Titanic's tra Tragedy a hulking iceberg in the middle of the North Atlantic always gets blamed for sinking Titanic. But it's not the only reason so many people lost their lives last night. 1. Titanic's builders removed some of the ship's lifeboats for first-class passengers could have more room to walk on deck. That decision left more than 1,000 people trapped on board sinking ship. 2. Builders lower Titanic's bolt heads to make more room for the grand staircase and other fancy features. If the bulkheads had been higher, the ship would have sunk more slowly. 3. Titanic's bow was stronger than the sides of the hull. If the ship had hit the iceberg head-on, it might not have sunk. 4. When Titanic scrapped against the iceberg, the nail-like rivers used to attach the ship's metal slides to the frame broke as the hulk split open seawater poured into the ship. 5. Titanic's original launch date was March 20th. If the ship had left then, the iceberg probably wouldn't have been in its path. 6. The sea was unusually calm on April 14th. Waves would have made the iceberg easier to spot. Titanic's crew couldn't find the ship's binoculars. So lookout Frederick Fleet was searching for icebergs with just his eyes. 8. Jack Phillips and Harold Pride worked for the company that owed wireless equipment. If they had worked for the shipping company, they would have known messages about icebergs were more important. 9. Captain Smith delayed his decision to change the ship's course. If he had given the order sooner, the ship would have not been heading in the direction of an iceberg. 10. The Californian was just 10 miles away. If its wireless radio hadn't been turned off for the night, the ship could have saved people before Titanic sunk. 
Search and discovery. For more than 70 years, no human eyes saw Titanic. Many people tried to find the ship, but they failed. All that changed in 1985. That's when Robert Ballard used Argo, a new kind of underwater vehicle, to locate the trail of broken pieces that fell out of the Titanic as it sunk. Then he followed his trail of remains to the ship. In 1986, Ballard visited the sunken ship in a tiny submarine. It landed on Titanic's deck and sent a robot named JJ inside to look around. Weird but true, Titanic was for, found more than 13 miles from its last reported location. No wonder people had such a hard time finding it. Titanic treasures. When Robert Ballard announced Titanic's location in 1986, people began to visit the site. They all wanted to see the wonder ship and many wanted to take pieces of it home. People have removed more than 6,000 items from Titanic. What do you think? P Robert Ballard thinks people should leave Titanic alone. He says that taking things, dishes, lamps, pieces of the ship is like rob robbing a grave. It is. Human bodies and clothing decay quickly in seawater, but shoes don't. A shoe marks a Titanic victim's final resting place. Over time, visitors have damaged Titanic, so have tiny ocean creatures. Reddish-brown rust rusticles now cover most of the ship. They form a bacteria and fungi dine on iron and steel. Rusticles, a form of rust and metal eating bacteria and fungi. And that's how it looks when they found it. In 2010, scientists spent 20 days photographing and filming every inch of Titanic, including its huge trail of broken pieces. The images will be used to create a 3D model of the site. You'll probably never visit Titanic in person, but soon you'll be able to explore the shipwreck virtually from the comfort of your living room. How cool is that? Why? Why do scientists want to make a detailed computer model of Titanic? Because someday, that's all that will be left of their wonder ship. And that's the end. I hope you like to learn about Titanic. It's so interesting. Bye-bye.